Wow, there is no way I'm finishing this. How is this a kid's meal? Man, I really hope no one finds these explosives I have planted right here. In this area. Right here. I wish I was a bit taller. I can't reach my ice cream. Hmm. Let me... My ice cream! <laughs> Here's a table for one. Do you already have a drink in mind? Um, some tea would be nice, thank you. No problem, I'll be back with your tea in a bit. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Um, my name's Orbit. I'll be your narrator, or guide? I'll, I'll be your guide through this video as the creator wanted every Thanksgiving video, special, whatever, to be recorded in a different way. Um, last year was in the game called Rec Room, and this year, well, it's a LPS video. I hope you enjoy your stay. Here you are. Are you ready for your order? No, um, not just yet. That's fine. Take your time. I'll be back in a bit to check on you. <laughs> um, it's, it's unsweetened. Duh. Oh well. Anyway, I know you came for the turkey, so I will deliver that now. Um, as of now, I will be speaking as if I'm the creator to avoid any confusion, which honestly might make it more confusing, but I don't know any other way to tell the story. So, um, anyway, I've had the name Turkey That Tickles for a while now, and I believe I'll keep it for the rest of my internet career. I created it when I first joined Roblox in 2016, and I kept it still when I made this channel in 2018. And as I'm 16 now, I've actually had this name for half of my life, which is crazy, but I don't plan on changing it. It's just so ingrained into everything, and I love it. If you're wondering how I came up with that name, well... I had always wanted to be one of those cool YouTuber guys. Every gameplay, plush video, FNAF song, whatever pushed me to want to create, even when I was half my age. I would really only record my Angry Birds plushies, but even while playing games, I would still have an I'm making a video right now mindset. And I would talk like all those YouTubers I watched. Life was bliss. I decided maybe around 2015 that I needed a mascot for my channel like those other cool YouTuber guys. I randomly picked a stuffed animal from my stuffed animal bucket thingy, and I got, well, I'm not sure. It's quite possible that I did pick a turkey stuffed animal first, but it is also completely possible that I picked something else beforehand and put it back to get something more interesting. It didn't matter though. My heart had set on the stuffed animal my grandparents had gotten me for Thanksgiving. I don't know why they got me a stuffed animal for Thanksgiving, but I'm thankful for my little guy. I may talk about him in a different video later because this is not Thomas, my turkey mascot. This turkey is more of a beta version of him with a different name. Anyway, I can't just have a mascot for my YouTube channel. I need a cool channel name. Just turkey was not gonna cut it. I need something that rhymes with turkey, like corky or jerky, yeah. I must have asked a few people about what rhymes with turkey, but then I got to my aunt. I asked her, but she seemed to be distracted by something else. She told me to go tickle my other aunt. I was kind of annoyed that she didn't answer my question, but wait, she had given me something even better. So Turkey That Tickles is my name and I'll probably keep it forever. I'm going to clarify now and forever that this was and never will be an inappropriate name. I was eight. So. Oh. God, oh God, oh God. Have you decided what you wanted yet? Uh, uh, I, uh, um, mm, uh, it's, uh, um, may I get the burger, please? Coming right up. You see, the reason I lore dumped on y'all is. One, to give more clarification, because I don't know if I've ever actually done that before. And two, well, 
when I was looking up my username randomly two years ago, as you know, an upcoming YouTuber does, I noticed a result on Amazon for a book about turkeys. It was called Never Ever Tickle a Turkey. I, I was shocked. I was also a, a bit worried for like copyright reasons. Like if it came out way before my channel or even my Roblox account came out, maybe, I don't know why they would, but maybe they would sue me. Um, it came out in 2021. So children's book authors got so inspired by my Roblox account and my YouTube channel that I didn't actually start posting on until like 2022 that they made a children's book about it. Um, but seriously, this is a complete coincidence. I have no doubt in my mind about that. I know y'all won't, but don't attack these people because they're just children's book authors. Don't attack them. All they did was write a book similar to my name. Um, just making that clear. Also, to the authors of the book, this is a commentary video and I have the legal right to make this. Um, I will only feature a few pages of this book and no money will be made from this video as right now I'm not monetized and I'll turn monetization off if or when I get it. So don't worry about that. Everyone support the book author and stuff. I always wanted to make a video on this book so I figured in my 16th year of life and my 8th year of having this name, I figured it was time. So. Anyway, as always, I would appreciate it if you guys like the video, now, oh, subscribe, there's, like oh, there's it. Much you don't know how much you would make me oh, oh, God, no, my food, no, my ice cream. Yo. Ah! Oh, um. Anyway, uh, I got the book. Okay guys, this is my live reaction to the book, Never Ever Tickle a Turkey. The the person that made this is supposed to, the name's supposed to be right here. For some reason, it's only on the little preview. Um, Adam Wallace and Mary Nin. This is in a series, obviously. Never Ever series, just with different animals. So anyway, okay. Ooh. Um book belongs to okay um i wrote um my full legal name in here um as you know this is my full legal name um and then i drew a little picture of uh thomas this book was created by two children's book authors adam wallace and mary Nin. i tried to look at the website that's in the book but um Ow! I tried to look at the website that's like in the book. It's the Never Ever series that this book is a part of and the website is not existent anymore, which is weird because this book came out in 2021. So I feel like it'd still be up, but you know, whatever. I really do like the sketchy art style of this book. Um, I don't know who drew it though, because uh, I can't find any information on it. This book starts with two children t chasing the turkey to tickle him. The turkey doesn't have a name, sadly, but that's Okay, as long as a turkey is featured in the book, it should be fine. Ow! I keep falling, because as long as a turkey is featured in a book, it's fine, right? Anyway, they're chasing the turkey to tickle him, and he's running away scared. Um, I feel like the children shouldn't chase him, since they're making him scared, but again, they are children, so... The turkey starts um, running into things and knocking it over, but again, He's being chased, so there's nothing you can really do about that. Um, then the book reveals that this book takes place in Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving. What kind of sick joke is that? Like it's, why, why would you be chasing him on Thanksgiving? There's a turkey on the table in the drawing, like a dead cooked turkey. What? Why would they- why would they do that? Like, this turkey thinks he's gonna die. There's a cooked turkey on the table. No wonder he's so freaking scared. 
the children finally get to him and tickle him and he starts to laugh and stuff and then he farts he farts a lot which is as we all know a, a cardinal sin everything the children did is now forgiven because farting is bad you know, stupid idiot turkey but wait just kidding that was a lie i mean in the book he does fart but birds literally cannot fart they cannot literally fart this is propaganda turkeys cannot fart because birds cannot fart it's a manufactured lie that the narrator is oh that the narrator is telling us to make us feel bad for the children and they're almost torturing this turkey. Why would I feel bad for the children? <sighs> anyway, it's all stinky now. And the book says never to put your trust in a turkey or they'll deceive you or whatever. The turkey's not in the wrong though. Who cares if the turkey's a trickster? At least he's not fearing for his life anymore. Then the turkey apparently can't keep a secret. One question, why are you telling this turkey your secrets? <laughs> You clearly do not like him because you're chasing him, try trying to tickle him down. So why why are you putting trust in him for like secrets if you don't like him? That's, and then he spreads it around. That's what he's gonna do because you already betrayed his trust. So what, why? Why would, why would you even entrust him with that and expect him to go, oh yeah, I respect you, so I won't spread this top secret thing you just told me. Gain his trust back and then maybe he won't go spilling your secrets. Then it says turkeys only complain, especially about wanting to fly. Turkeys can fly, by the way. Well, wild turkeys, at least. He might be a domesticated turkey though, which would imply that he lives here in this house where he is afraid. Hmm. He also complains about food or whatever. And even the book says turkeys are quite rude. How, how rude of the book to say that? And then it says turkeys complain about people and even says that turkeys are cruel. What? I gotta stop doing that. The last frame is him yelling in a cage while the children walk away with noise canceling headphones. I completely understand why one of the reviews said this was turkey hating propaganda now. It's, it's a real review, by the way. It's so crazy to me because when I- Ow! It's crazy to me though, because when I first read that review, I just thought it was like a weird, random, rando comment. Like, not a real, actual review. But I completely understand it now. It's so weird. It's like, it is like turkey hating propaganda. And <laughs> it's just so weird that that review was like, right. Um, here's your burger. Oh, thank you. Is the book yours? Uh, yeah. Why? Never mind. Enjoy your meal. It's free. Go right ahead. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is complete turkey propaganda in every sense of the word. But besides, it's not like political. Now, this turkey is torn down for everything he does and... Without context, it makes a bit of sense. People who complain and are mean are, well, not very nice. But this turkey is not free to do anything else. He's stuck here with these children that do not understand how to respect his personal space or himself at all. He's chased around, reprimanded, and when all is said and done, he's put into a cage. The cycle may continue for years until he dies. Um, turkeys live for 10 years. Or, even worse, they eat him. Most don't have turkeys as companion animals, and these children obviously celebrate Thanksgiving, so it's not not an option. But who was the turkey that they had on the table? That cooked turkey was, was he put through the same torture that th this turkey was? Or was he lucky? Did he just get bought from the store and die Semi-peacefully, actually, I don't know. I did- the, my last Thanksgiving video is about, like, meat bread turkeys. Like, basically, factory-produced turkeys. And they're not- they're kind of not in the best situation either. At least this turkey 
is free to roam, roam a little bit. I wonder at this point if death is a freedom that this turkey wants. I mean, he's laughing here. He's laughing, but he's being tickled. Usually that invokes laughter. I can't completely blame the children here because, well, they're children. Most of the blame should be put on the parents, but we don't see them at all in this book, I'm pretty sure. Like even family pictures, it's just like the kids. I just hope this turkey continues to respect himself and then maybe one day he'll get respect. This bad behavior, uh, not the farting thing because he technically can't do that anyway, should s still be apologized for. Even though he's been through a lot, he still needs to apologize for bad actions, but he doesn't do it without a purpose. Also, because of the behavior of one single turkey, this book generalizes all turkeys saying things like, see, all turkeys are really cruel. That is not a fair claim to make. These children have only known two turkeys, maybe just one, and that is not representative of the entire turkey population. I mean, Thomas, say hi to Thomas, my mascot. He's nice, he has a wife and a child. He's, he's perfect. Say hi, Thomas. Hi, it's me, Thomas. Wow. Um, anyway. He just wants everyone to be happy. That already disproves this generalized claim. But in the grand scheme of things, this doesn't matter. It's a children's book about turkeys and farts and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, farts. So funny. I'm really glad I got this book. I just, I'm so happy. I'm so happy with how it turned out too because I'm, I don't know. This is just fun and don't take anything I said seriously. I hope this turkey's doing better wherever he is. And I hope the children have grown up and are doing good also because they are, again, children. But um, that's all for this crazy, weird Thanksgiving video. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a roller coaster. Um, bye. Thank you, friends, for voicing everyone.